Hi, welcome back to Transparent Academy. This is Rajiv Ramnath, your costing faculty. And in this video, we are going to learn how to prepare process account when there is process loss. Let us recap what we learnt in the previous video. In a process, there can be normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Some of the rules we learned regarding the process loss also we can recap. 1. The normal loss is absorbed by the normal output. 2. Revenue from scrap sale of normal loss will be credited to process account. 3. Abnormal loss will be transferred to abnormal loss account before finally getting transferred to costing profit and loss account. 4. Scrap sale of normal loss will be credited to abnormal loss account. 5. Abnormal gain will be transferred to abnormal gain account before finally getting transferred to costing profit and loss account. 6. The opportunity loss from scrap sale of abnormal gain will be debited to abnormal gain account. We have already learned preparation of a basic process account. Now let's take a look at an example that will help us to learn how to prepare a process account with process loss. JK produces a product AZD that passes through two processes that is process A and process B. The output of process A is treated as raw material in the next process and output of process B is transferred to finished goods. The following data is for the month of December. 25,000 units are introduced at a cost of rupees 2 lakh to process A. Other material consumed in process A is 1 lakh 92,000 rupees and in process B it is 96,020 rupees. Direct labor cost for process A is 2,24,000 and for process B it is 1,28,000. Manufacturing expenses incurred in process A is 1,40,000 and in process B it is 60,000. Normal wastage of input is 10% for both the processes. The scrap value per unit for process A is 9 rupee 90 paise per unit and 8 rupee 60 paise per unit for process B. The total output for process A is 22,000 units and for process B it is 20,000 units. You are required to prepare process A account and process B account and also you are required to prepare abnormal loss account and abnormal gain account as the case may be. Before we go on to prepare process A account, let's first list down all the important particulars in the question which is relevant for preparing the process account. The raw material introduced into the process is 25,000 units. Normal loss 10 percentage of input. Actual output is 22,000 units. Scrap value rupees 9.9 .9 per unit. The cost particulars are the cost of basic raw material is rupees 2 lakh. Additional raw material is rupees 1 lakh 92,000. Wages is rupees 2 lakh 24,000. And the manufacturing expenses are rupees 1 lakh 40,000. Before we proceed to prepare the process A account, I wish to say that in a process account which involves process loss, it is always advisable to tally the quantity column first and then move on to tally the values. Shall we start? Yes. The first entry in the process A account is the basic raw material and the quantity is 25,000 units. That is our input. Apart from that, we are also introducing additional raw material. We are spending on wages and we are also incurring overheads. The values are 2 lakh, 1 lakh 92,000, 2 lakh 24,000 and overheads 1 lakh 40,000. 
the gross total cost of the process is 7,56,000. Now what happened to this 25,000 units? We know only 22,000 units are transferred to process B, which means there is a total process loss of 3,000 units. But we, have, we are also told the normal loss is only 10 percentage of the input, which is 2,500 units. So the additional 500 units is abnormal loss. So the 25,000 units introduced, 2,500 units are lost because of normal reason, 500 units because of abnormal reason and the 22,000 units are transferred to process B. Going on to the cost part, the average cost as we already learned has to be calculated by subtracting the income that we get from the sale of normal scrap. We have lost 2500 units for normal scrap. This can be sold at 9 rupee 90 paise per unit. So we get a revenue of 24,750. This has to be credited to the process account against normal loss. Now let's go on to calculate the average cost again. The average cost is process cost minus the normal scrap which will give us the net cost of the process. We have to divide this by the normal output. So the total cost is 7,56,000. I subtract 24,750 rupees of revenue which we got from sale of normal scrap. That is divided by 22,500 units which is the normal output of the process. So we can see the average cost per unit is 32.5 rupees. Using this average cost of 32.5, we will be able to calculate what is the abnormal loss suffered by us? We have lost 500 units because of abnormal reasons. And the value is 500 multiplied by average cost of 32.5 per unit. The total abnormal loss is 16,250 rupees. Similarly, we can also calculate the value of units transferred to the next process. We have transferred 22,000 units. And the average cost of each unit is 32.5 rupees. So the total value of units transferred to next process is 22,000 multiplied by 32.5, 7,15,000 rupees. And with this, we can proceed to prepare the abnormal loss account from process A. Now when you are preparing process A account, you might have noticed there was an abnormal loss of 500 units costing 16,250 rupees. Now let's learn how to prepare the abnormal loss account. The abnormal loss transferred from process A is debited to the abnormal loss account. But there is a silver lining to the abnormal loss. The 500 units which were lost due to abnormal reasons can actually be sold for 9 rupee 90 paise per unit. So you get a revenue of 4950 rupees from the sale of abnormal loss. So the net abnormal loss for us is only 16,250 rupees of abnormal loss minus revenue from sale of abnormal scrap 4950 rupees. The net abnormal loss is 11,300 rupees. Only this 11,300 needs to be transferred to costing profit and loss account. After this, we will move on to preparation of process B account. Let us move on to process B now. Before we prepare the process B account, let us list down all the particulars important for preparing process B. The quantitative details are 22,000 units are transferred from process A. The normal loss is 10 percentage of input. The actual output in process B is 20,000 units. Scrap can be sold for 8.6 rupees per unit. The cost particulars are cost of goods transferred from process A is 7,15,000 rupees. Additional raw material is 96,020 rupees. Wages 1,28,000 rupees and manufacturing expenses 60,000 rupees. Before we prepare the process B account, I want to stress on a point which I mentioned when we were preparing process A. 
always tally the quantitative particulars first if you tally the quantitative particulars you will have a very good control over what happened to the input of any process that will help you in getting a more accurate answer so let's start by preparing the process b account first the quantitative particulars units introduced from process a 22000 units and we all know the normal loss for process b is 10 percentage of input so what will be our normal loss 10 percentage of 22000 that is 2200 units now if we really lost 2200 units how many units can we transfer to finished goods from 22000 i reduced 2200 you will be able to transfer only 19800 units but in reality they are given in the question the goods transfer to finished goods is 20000 units so the actual production is more than the normal production which implies there is an abnormal gain of 200 units now that we have tallied the quantitative particulars let us quickly fill in all the cost particulars that is cost of goods transferred from process a as you can recollect it is 715000 the cost of additional material 96020 wages paid 128000 overheads 60000 rupees okay now what is the revenue for this process as you remember 2200 units are the normal loss this 2200 units can be sold at a scrap value of 8.6 per unit when you do that you have a revenue of 18920 rupees this has to be entered against normal loss on the credit side of process b account now we can proceed to calculate what is the average cost or the normal cost per unit in the process how do we do that again recollecting the formula the gross process cost minus the revenue from sale of normal scrap divided by the normal output of the process so in this case it is 999020 rupees minus 18920 rupees divided by 19800 units so the average cost of goods completed in process b is 49.5 rupees per unit using this information we can calculate what is the abnormal gain what is the abnormal gain in units it is 200 units and now we have an abnormal gain of 200 units worth 49.5 rupees per unit so the total abnormal gain is 200 multiplied by 49.5 9900 rupees moving on we have to calculate what is the value of units transferred to finished goods we transferred 20000 units as we calculated earlier the cost of one unit is 49.5 rupees so the total value of goods transferred to the finished goods is 20000 units multiplied by 49.5 rupees per unit 990000 rupees once we enter all these data in the respective space even our process b account will be tallied next we have to wind up this part by learning how to calculate the abnormal gain and preparing the abnormal gain account so abnormal gain is the 200 units that was transferred from process b it is an income for us so from process b it will be credited to the credit side of the abnormal gain account as you can see the abnormal gain is 9900 rupees but there is an opportunity loss for us why because of the gain the 200 units which could normally be sold for scrap we were not able to sell it so that is a loss for us so what is the opportunity loss 200 units multiplied by the scrap sale value of 8.6 per unit it is 1720 rupees of opportunity loss this has to be debited to the abnormal gain account now the net gain for us is only 8180 rupees how did we calculate that the abnormal gain transferred from process b is 9900 there is an opportunity loss because of abnormal gain which amounts to 1720 so the net gain 
is only 8180 this amount has to be transferred to costing profit and loss account as an income on the credit side of the pro costing profit and loss account i hope through this video you have understood how to prepare a process account which involves a process loss also we learned how to prepare an abnormal loss account and an abnormal gain account this is a very common type of question which might be asked in your examination if you want more questions for practice you can leave your requirement in the comment section or you can call to the number mentioned in the description box in the next video we will be learning how to treat work in progress in process costing i hope to meet you in the next video till then signing off ca rajiv ramnath thank you